Welcome to Martini Time. Happy time of the day here in Blackstone, Virginia, where the center of the world, but then you too are the center of the world. Wherever you are, that's the center of the world. But then at the same time, we're on the periphery, on the rim of the world. Uh, whatever, whenever we're looking at objects, we're on the outside looking in. But when I'm, look, when I'm the looker, I'm on the inside. So we're both at the center of the wheel and on the rim. When I'm on the rim of the wheel, I'm looking at objects as if the object was at the center of the wheel. Get this in your mind. You've got a wheel, you've got a center, you've got the rim. Now when I'm looking, I'm at the center. But when I'm looking at something, what I'm looking at is at the center. So I alternate between being at the center as the looker and also being at the periphery looking at something that's at the center. Anyway, we'll continue this uh, dissecting the concept or the paradigm of the wheel, the Buddhist wheel, wheel of samsara, wheel of dharma, that's what I'm talking about in my morning and evening show. So I hope you follow. Hang in there. Stick with me. We're on the search for understanding. Not certainty, but understanding. So today's title is... <clears throat> what, what is it? Let's see. What did I write? <laughs> my enemy is me. Now today I've been uh, writing about, I always use politics, what's in the news, to stimulate understanding. And there's no better stimulation for understanding than Trump. And this is not a political observation, it's more of a psychological, mystical, <laughs> mythological observation instead of a political one, looking at it from the liberal view or the, re or the right or the left or all that. We're looking at more as a metaphor to explain me, to explain you, and how we work. Now, a little history of the Republican Party. Well, what, well, what's in the news now is that Trump is trumping up his attack on the media as the enemy of the people. The media is the enemy of the people. Now, if you look at history, of the Republican Party, as I can, because I was there, it began really with the John Birch Society, and I mean the, the uh, extreme right end of the Republican Party, not the Taft and the, Gen and the General Eisenhower and all of these uh, Republicans that used to be Republicans, but the right wing. Started with the John Birch Society, who were zealots against communism. And Goldwater was a personification of that uh, when he said uh, uh, extremism when concerning liberty is no vice and so forth. In other words, any means to the end when it comes to the enemy. Okay, so then communism died. Reagan came into uh, riding on the, since communism was dead, uh, Reagan, that the government is the enemy, the liberal government, the mainstream, the, the, the liberal government is the enemy. Now he was talking about the LBJ government and the FDR government. That's the enemy. So he rode in on the enemy. And now Trump came in. Obama is the enemy. And then, when he was running, Hillary was the enemy. But he never said the government is the enemy after he got elected because he is the government. The Republican Party is the government. So he can't say the government is the enemy. So who's the enemy? Who's the enemy? You've got to have an enemy. And so the enemy became, well, the police and the media. Now, by the police, I mean the Justice Department and Mueller, 
and the media. That's the enemy, you see. This is the O.J. Simpson strategy, <laughs> you see. I just realized that today. The O.J. Simpson strategy was, for the first time, if you are accused, attack the police. The police are wrong. And it worked. O.J. was acquitted. There were, they found out enough holes in the police investigation to corrupt the whole investigation against the obvious evidence that he was guilty. The obvious evidence was discounted because the integrity of the investigation was discounted. Aha, uh -huh, says Trump. Ha <laughs> ha, that works. All I have to do is attack the media and the Justice Department and the investigation so when I go to trial, I just find one little hole and I can blow the whole thing apart. See, it's corrupt. I've been telling you this. It's a hoax. You see that one little fall there, that one little fault? It's a hoax. Don't believe it. Acquit me. See, the gloves doesn't fit. The gloves don't fit. Okay, but anyway, getting back to my topic, I digress. How does my enemy become me? Well, this pattern, this, this uh, pain body, this collective uh, theory mobilizes around an enemy. This collective party, this group, this collective mobilizes around a center that is the enemy. So everybody's on the rim looking at the enemy. Obama, Hillary, government, communism, ISIS. Yeah, ISIS is gone. They can't be the enemy. Immigrants, they're getting deported. They can't be the enemy. So the lasting enemy, you see, is the media. Now the media is the public enemy. So the media then becomes the center of the wheel. And all of the collective, the Trump party, you see, <clears throat> those who invest in Trump as their center now, sent, now form a, a ring around their enemy, which is now the center. This is, this is the way you rally the troops. America rallied itself out of its sleep in World War II when there was a single enemy. Well, two, Hitler and Japan. The, the axis of evil, you see. It mobilized the country into this powerful will. Boom. Hitler mobilized his collective around the Jews. Eliminate the Jews and the German will, triumph of will. The triumph of will arises when you have a collective enemy. Otherwise, what's going to unify you? Now, you can, you can unify yourself around a, a good false idol or a good center or a bad center. Say you, you, focus, you organize, you integrate your life around Jesus. That's a good center. But suppose you, are organ, you, 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 you unite your world, you organize your church, you make your ultimate concern the devil and the sins of others. Now you are a righteous group and you are hell-bent to eliminate the devil who is manifested in the sins of others. So you root out the sins. You root out the devil, you see. So the devil is now your God. The devil is now your center. So when we take that religious paradigm and put it into a secular paradigm, the devil wears civilian clothes. Obama's the devil. Hillary's the witch. And now the media is the devil, you see. It all makes good practical sense because it works. <laughs> it works, you see. It does mobilize the people. The GOP has been mobilizing its base, its voters, for 40 years 
on evil, the evil of liberalism. I remember my sister-in-law, good evangelical woman. I, everything I know about evangelicals I learned from her and her husband, my wife's brother. Good people, good Christians. They really did it by the heart. I mean, they did it full. They did the whole thing. They, they ate the whole hog. Didn't even leave out the squeal, you see. But she was always railing against the secular liberal humanisms. The secular liberal humanism, which means the worship of man instead of the worship of God. So in her eyes, liberalism puts man at the center when God should be at the center. But then she was always concerned about cults, the evil cults. Everything was a cult. And she had to, and she had literature and books about how to deprogram people from the cults, you see. Get them from that cult into my group, which was a cult. <laughs> but, but the point is, you see, her focus was on the sin, rooting out the sin, seeing sin. And so this whole idea of having to have a center in order to organize your group uh, puts you on the rim and it takes and it really splits you because your real center is here and your mind is on is the objective consciousness of the ego looking at things you see but the looker is here and you can't see the looker. All you see is things. So we're, we have two me's. One me is uh, conscious of things. The other is the pure looker. They, that who looks before it sees the thing. So you see, when, we, when we're a subject, or we see an object, we are that object because it's in our mind. I'm looking at you. Well, I'm not seeing you. I'm seeing myself. <laughs> now, it's very obvious to me that, I'm, that the object I'm looking at is me. You see, <laughs> hello. <laughs> so I see, I, I, there I am. I'm so glad to see you, you see. But if you were standing there, you see, then I would see you as an object, and I would be here, and you would be there. I hit, you see. But when I, when I look at myself in the mirror here, while there's an it image, you see, I'm also the image looking back at me. When, when I smile like this, see, when I smile, I smile back. So I'm look, the image is looking at me. Now this, this is a virtuous cycle. Makes me laugh. But if it were you here, you see, unless we were in resonance, we might feel a little uh, conflict here. Are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me that way? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I'm going to smack you, <laughs> you see. Don't look at me. When you're on subways in New York City, you don't look at people. Somebody will say, are you looking at me? What's the matter? You see, we avoid that. Oh, we want to be, a, you're an it and I'm an I. But if I, if it starts looking back at me, I get really, unless it's my beloved, I get angry. Anyway, I digress. So the point I'm trying to make here, if there is a point, is that in uh, today's politics, when an uh, enemy of the state is created, it's really me. So Trump, in his need to create uh, people, he has to have a covenant, not with God, but with the devil. He has to have a covenant with the enemy. And he has to create the enemy in order to have a covenant with it. And he wants to create a big enemy, and he wants to create an enemy that will be there, and he wants to create an enemy that he can point to and rally his people around. And he also wants to create an enemy that 
threatens him. The media and Mueller, you know, that witch hunt. So, those, that is his covenant, but he has created it. He has created it in the same way that a hurricane has an eye, and around that eye, the, the winds form, you see. So the eye of Trump is his enemy. And around that, you see, his people come. They're drawn to it with this centripetal force. They're drawn to it like a gravity, to a black hole. And they roam around it, and they cheer, and they yell, and they applaud, and they scream. Lock her up. Lock her up, you see. Lock up the enemy. Fake news. CNN's the enemy. Lock them up. And it escalates because it feeds back and forth like a mic in an amplifier. Wow, 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 wow. It's a self-generating energy force, energy field around me, around my enemy, which is me. And so we'll close with Jesus who says, love your enemy, because it's me. Love yourself, love your enemy, because you have created it and it's just a projection of you. Thanks for dropping in.